A man who's been on death row for more than 20 years wants another shot at justice. Elwood Jones was convicted of beating a woman to death in a Blue Ash Hotel, but he has always maintained his innocence. Local 12's Alexa Helwig live tonight at the Hamilton County Courthouse where Jones's attorneys are trying to get him a new trial. Alexa, good evening. Yeah, this is a long awaited hearing for Elwood Jones and those closest to him. He was here inside of a courtroom at the Hamilton County Courthouse today where his attorney says there is new evidence and Jones deserves a fair trial. Sense of hope. His attorney, Jay Clark, showed a judge 4,000 pages of evidence he says prosecutors did not present at Jones's trial. One of the most stunning new details is a woman named Linda Reed told a fellow inmate at the Hamilton County Jail her husband Earl Reed confessed to killing Rhoda Nathan at the Embassy Suites in Blue Ash and framed a black man for it. That witness took the stand today and she called Blue Ash police after leaving jail. The person got on the phone and he had said uh, I had let him know what Linda Reed had told me and he has said that it was a closed case and we found something in, in his possession. Hamilton County prosecutors question her memory of the facts. They say Linda Reed's story is not reliable, stating she was mentally compromised at the time. A second witness took the stand. Robin Budd says she was staying at the embassy suites in September, the day of the murder. She left that morning to go to the store. That morning as I was leaving, I came down to the first floor was exiting the hotel to the side and um, that's when I noticed somebody ahead of me out the door very hastily and running through the parking lot and sprinting into the woods. And that second witness describes the person she saw that day as tall, young, and a light-complected man. Now, this is just day one of three for this hearing. It is expected to go through Friday. Reporting live outside of the Hamilton County Courthouse, Alexa Helwig, Local 12 News. Yeah, Alexa, we know you will stay on top of this case for us. Thank you so much. Now, the prosecutor's office is fighting a bid for this new trial. In the past, Prosecutor Joe Dieters has said that Elwood Jones was convicted on solid evidence and that his conviction should stand.